Leo Moon, how are you guys? Man, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I really do appreciate y'all's energy, y'all's time, y'all's love. Um, welcome to 2020. We made it. This is going to be your first reading for the year 2020. And it's a moon sign reading for Leo Moon. All right. This may resonate to Leo sun signs and Leo risings, but um, this is more intended for Leo Moon. Okay. I want to take a look and see the energies emotionally as we move into the year 2020. All right. So let's take a look and see how you're going to be, how you're going to be reacting and, 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 and possibly, uh, you know, not reacting based off emotions. And I don't know why I said that because I, I haven't said that in any other reading. So Leo, I do get the feeling that there may be something that you do have to react to. That may be a channeled message, but it'll all come out here. All right. So emotionally. All right, how are you going to be feeling? Thank you so much, Spirit, for the messages that you've been able to provide for us. Please allow us to see a stronger message for Leo Moon in relation to their emotions as they step into the new year of 2020. Regardless of uh, what's actually happening and going on around them, emotionally how would they be feeling what would they be bringing all right you guys keep in mind if the messages don't resonate then just leave it where it is all right but if they do resonate then of course let me know how it's working out down in the comment box below because i do appreciate all that all right so let's take a look and see what the all right well all right that wanted to pop right on out so let's go ahead and let it pop out it is card number 27 the third house messages what did i just say you guys are going to be reacting to some things, all right? Messages. I feel like there's... Mm, I feel like there's going to be some strong messages that are going to be coming your way, Leo Moon. Some strong messages, all right? Um, these messages, I mean, it could be text messages. It could be verbal, it, you know, whatever, but... Definitely, I just feel like, you know, some things are going to be communicated to you, right? This might even be possibly where you're going to have to be communicating things to other people um, in reaction to maybe things that they have done or or said or misunderstood, okay? Um, I, I feel a lot of misunderstanding all over this is what I'm feeling. It's like, um, uh, I feel like there's a bit of truth in whatever is going to be communicated to you, but then there's also, even within that truth, there's some things that you're going to have to be, uh, you're going to have to decipher. You're going to have to kind of figure it out, maybe read between the lines um, about things, all right? Uh, it could be in a good way, it could be in a bad way, you know, however it resonates to you, but you will know it, all right? Because I feel like... Um, a particular honestly i feel like a particular a particular reaction is going to be expected of you leo moon a particular reaction is possibly going to be expected of you and um some of you will give that reaction some of you won't All right, Spirit, thank you so much for those messages. Please allow us to see the signs that you need for Leo Moon to interpret or to take heed as they move into 2020, all right? What are the signs that you need Leo to actually pay attention to? All right. Cards. Fate. All right, so I feel like... Uh, Listen, whatever's going down, whatever needs to be communicated to you, I really just feel like it's going to be unavoidable. Um, the messages that you even hear, for some of you, I feel like they may be even spiritual messages. You may not even be hearing these messages directly from people. You may be hearing these messages spiritually, okay? The next card that we have here is Feathers, Protection. So yes, I really feel this more, more so now on a very spiritual level. I really feel like, listen... Leo Moon, if you haven't, if you're not doing anything to protect yourself on a spiritual level, I feel like you guys may need to begin to do that. I don't feel like there's going to be any attacks or anything on you. I just feel like it's just more so just for your own spiritual safety while you're trying to 
determine and decipher maybe certain spiritual messages that you may be receiving. I feel like there's going to be a, a need to want to make sure that you just for comfort, you do protect yourself. And, and, I, and, I, and again, I don't feel like um, this is where you're going to be spiritually attacked. I just need to just, there's just need to, there's, you're just going to be protected and people are going to know that people are going to see that veil of feathers on you, on your spiritual body. Okay. So that's for some of you guys who actually do spirit work or who actually may be able to communicate with certain spirits. I just feel like whatever messages you hear, understand that you were always going to hear those messages. All right. Um, anything that happens as a result of you hearing those messages, I feel like it's just, it, it was going to happen, okay? It was going to happen, and that's why you need to protect yourself, all right? <sighs> wow. Okay, Leo Moon, let's go ahead and pull some tarot here. Now, let's see if there's anything else. I feel like there's something else that wanted to come out, and maybe it'll come out in a little while. You know, I feel like there was something else that still needed me to say. I'm also hearing spirit is saying for some of you um, who are into spirit work or who do believe that, you know, you can, you know, who, who people, it may be not, you may not be into spirit work, but some of you may be into like ritualistic work or whatever like that. Um, I feel like for, there's a, for some of you, I'm hearing like you may be feeling the need to like place feathers, like place feathers around your home to ward off uh, just certain messages that maybe you may consider unruly. Um, you know, if you hear messages, sometimes you do hear messages from, you know, lower dimensional beings. And I feel like, you know, you may be hearing those messages at that time. So, you know, putting feathers around your home could protect you. Um, Leo Moon, I feel like uh, for some of you, I really just feel like I'm speaking to those select few people who like are into like maybe card reading or card interpretation or just any sort of reading style interpretation, whether it's runes, palm readings, feet readings, aura readings, card readings, anything like that. Um, I just feel like, you know, like I said, you are going to be receiving messages messages may be more clear more distinct and you're going to um yeah you may find yourself just kind of having to layer yourself with a little extra hedge of protection uh just because the energy that you're going to be working with is, in 2020 the energy that you're working with baby is is going to be enormous in, in, in regards to how you've been playing with it or how you've been dealing with it uh, in the years beforehand, okay? So I think we shuffled this deck enough. All right, so central energy is popping out. The six of cups. Ooh, yes. There may be people coming back from the past. There may be energies coming back up from the past, a feeling of nostalgia. Um, for some of you, oh, I feel like this is like for some of you who are more spiritually inclined, more third eye inclined, this is flashbacks, okay, to yesteryear, to a particular situation, to a particular point in time that's just giving you a very nostalgic feeling. You may be having these certain flashbacks to that particular time because there may be messages that you missed when you went through it the first time, when you actually physically lived it, there may have been messages that you, messages and signs that you missed that you needed to be communicated to you. <clears throat> and I feel like a lot of you spirit is allowing you to, for some of you, if you're into astral projection, I feel like this is for the very spiritually inclined Leo moon here. Okay. Um, but you know, if you're into things like astral projection, um, you know, or just, you know, uh, if you're one of those people who, you know, feel as though, you know, you can kind of go back in time mentally and just kind of relive and re-experience things. I feel like you will be doing that in your mind and there will be messages that you're going to begin to notice that you didn't notice when you actually lived it. Okay. 
it may not even necessarily be a flashback. For some of you, it may be like a movie that you watch or maybe a home movie that you watched from the past that was recorded in the past. And you're like, you didn't ever notice that before. But in the recording, you notice it, that message or that symbol or that clue that you miss during the actual waking physical living of the in that time period. OK, the next card here is the seven of cups. And the five of wands. Oh, yes, I understand. There was a lot going on in the past. That's why you didn't see it the first time. There was a lot going on in the past. There was a lot of clouded judgment, a lot of emotions clouding that judgment. And then you also had, you know, bickering and other people's intentions and other people's, uh, you know, agendas trying to be pressed up against yours. And so it was just, yeah, no wonder. There was no wonder why you missed that message in that moment because there was just... There was just so much going on, okay? Spirit is telling me that in that moment, there may have been the feeling like, you know what, I do maybe need to protect myself a little bit, even if it's not even on a spiritual level, but like even if you're just trying to like protect your assets or just doing what you need to do to protect yourself emotionally. Spirit is telling you that that time is when you started seeing those signals about maybe kind of withdrawing yourself, maybe and kind of seeing things from the outside looking in versus from the inside of things, Okay. Because on the inside of things, you were too invested and you were missing messages, key messages. All right. But I do feel like, a lot, again, like I said, a lot of you are getting second chances to go back and relive that, whether it's via, you know, just a great fucking memory. Or if, you know, for some of you, it may be hypnosis. OK, and you're actually literally traveling astrally back to that time. Uh, uh, for some of you, like I said, it's just something as simple and as <laughs> um, plain as you watching an old video recording of something of you and you realize something in the background that you never noticed there before. It's like that. There's a message there. OK, but let's see what it's all for. And let's see what it's all for, because it leads to your complete 100 percent emotional fulfillment. It leads to it. So the message or the answer to that. To that emotional fulfillment, I can feel like it can be found in that moment of nostalgia. Okay. Now we do have the two of wands there coming out to round that out. The two of wands here with the ten of cups. So wow. This is honestly, this is where a lot of you have an opportunity to kind of create a fork in the road for yourself. And it's like, okay, do you want to continue to go down a particular path with the information that you do know and figure it out? Or do you want the opportunity to take another choice and kind of move, I feel like, in an opposite direction. That way, it's like you can kind of almost correct certain things to have exactly what it is that you want. That's beautiful energy, Leo. Beautiful energy. And I like that. And you know what? What comes out at the bottom of the deck is we have two. Oh, my God. We have three authorities of figure here at the bottom of the deck. I have the emperor. I was just going to pull this one and then I saw the next one and then I saw the next one and this is like, wow. So we have the emperor at the bottom of the deck. We have the justice card at the bottom of the deck. And then we also have the king of swords at the bottom of the deck. Listen. Listen. If this does not scream to me that you hold the power to actually be able to, to make the decision to kind of make, kind of go back to a certain point or level in time, again, however means you do that, and remember a certain message from back then is like some, maybe something somebody said that you didn't hear at the time, but but then you hear it, you know, you, you experience it again, or maybe deja vu, you know, and it puts you back in that moment, whatever. You're going back to receive some sort of message, all right? Whether you're traveling back physically somewhere to receive a message, maybe some of you choose to go back home or choose to go back to a certain point of some place that you used to live before in the past to receive you know, so just some sort of message to get more close to your spirit guides because you've spent a lot of time. There's a lot of a lot of energy was built in that location. So it's like you can connect to it. I mean, this is just going to play. It's going to play out in so many different ways for so many different Leo moons out there. But however it does. I really feel I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that a lot of you are even awake enough to know that there's maybe some messages that you need to receive from 
from another experience that you had. And it's okay to maybe relive that experience. For some of you, though, it can be traumatic. I do see that it may be traumatic to really to relive that particular experience. But if you're strong enough to do it, just understand that you can live that experience. And now that you made a particular choice, it doesn't say that you have to. I feel like you don't have to particularly live particularly live with that choice because you can always go back to figure something out that you didn't know before or use the experience that you did go through to learn the message that you didn't learn before and operate it to your uh your better uh your life's better your betterment shit i don't know another word and i just made up that word betterment <laughs> It may be a word, though. I don't know. Y'all let me know. If it's not a word, then... If it's not a word, I'm putting it on merch. If it is a word, then... Whatever. Anyways, let's take a look and see what Spirit wants us to look at inwardly, okay? Um, so, I'm using the uh, Chakra Oracle deck, all right? Because, yes, there's a lot going on, um, and... And emotionally, I feel like, you know, yeah, you're going to have to relive some experiences from the past. But inwardly, what is that going to do for you? What is that going to allow spirit to make you need to concentrate on inwardly so that you can move with more balance? All right. And the first card that I actually wanted to pop out here is card number 16. Personal boundaries, choice, assertiveness, empowerment, authenticity. OK, I, I feel like in the past there may not have been enough of that. You know, things just may have been too clouded there with the Seven of Cups and the Five of Swords. I mean, the Five of Wands. Things may have just been too clouded, the situation. All right? And maybe personal boundaries were affected. All right? Um, so there may be a message there. It is card number 16. Okay? So this is about you being able to be strong enough to assert yourself and make sure that you do have enough power and authority. And... Um, you know, just to at least, first of all, be okay with yourself. And then second of all, being okay with people within your personal boundaries. I feel like someone overstepped your personal boundaries here. Okay. Someone maybe have, uh, taken advantage of you and it's just to say, okay, forgive them because, you know, whatever they were doing, it was, they were doing it because that's the experience that they needed to learn. You know, they were also learning an experience and personal boundaries, you know, like how to respect other people's. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what one more message here is for your spirit. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll choose that one. Creativity, card number 35. Imagination, expression, originality, passion. I like that energy. I like that. It's a very crisp energy to me okay also um it's very much throat chakra energy okay so this is very much some of you you are like um speakers you are communicators okay for some of you i feel like you know you may be other youtube creators you may be other spiritualists that you know has to speak the advice or or whatever i feel like um there's going to be a lot of creativity in the things that you speak and the things that you create um or well in the things that you think of um I feel like some very icebreaker things, I feel like. You know, I feel like this is like a ball of ice. So there's some things that you're working on creatively that are going to break the ice on certain things, break the mold on certain things, okay? Um, <clears throat> and the message that you're needing to kind of go back to and get may kind of be what unlocks the potential on that new, exciting, groundbreaking thing that you're eventually here to create, Okay? Um, but you know, are you going to be strong enough emotionally to go back and kind of relive that experience in whatever way in order to get that particular message? All right. For others, if some of you, you know exactly what that message is already. And you're already headed toward this because it's your time. I see so much authoritative, uh, authoritative, authoritative energy, strong energy as well. All right. So I do see you being strong enough to do it. All right. Um, others of you, you just actually have to do it. Um, and be okay with the unknown um, because what was going to happen what was going to happen anyways. All right. So Leo Moon, that's your message. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me. It was kind of a long message, but um, it, it definitely was a good one. All right. Um, let me know how this works out in the comment box below. Of course, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Uh, 
hit the notification bell. If you'd like to re uh, book a personal reading, you can just email me at luminantlibratero at gmail.com and all of the information about readings will be in the description box below. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys later. All right, bye.